and loads of interesting stories broke over the weekend. But then it all ended on a sad note. Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gianna, are among nine people killed in a helicopter crash in the city of Calabasas in California. And the 41 year old was traveling in a private helicopter when it came down and burst into flames. And the LA County Sheriff said there were no survivors. This is the story of Kobe Bryant's marker. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a tough one. It's, oh. it's a tough one for the whole world. Yep. You know, you have a lot of millions of people are mourning right now. Um, not even just because he was such a great player on mm -hmm. the court and, and a legend, but all that he did off the court and how he really empowered the young kids coming up. And it's sad he was actually on his way doing what he loves, which is anything regarding basketball, you know, his young daughter, his um, academy, they were on their way to practice yeah. and, you know, that was, that was the end. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just, it's amazing that we were able to see him in his light, you know, being a great father, um, the loving person that he is, a family man. Um, and it's, it's completely tragic. I think we're all, at a loss for words, you sure. know. Um, when I first heard the news, I was like, "Stop playing!" Like my friend showed me, I was like, "No, you're you're lying. It's <laughs> this. It's, stop playing." And when you now see everyone in your group chats, you see on social media, it's everywhere. Everyone's talking about it. Everybody posting. I think in the beginning of um, when the news first broke, there were a lot of um, speculations, false information and speculation. So we're kind of just waiting. Who was it? Was it the whole family? Was it, um, you know, maybe just him? Was it the wife? Was it the daughter? You know, who was in this helicopter? And I think, you know, we were just scared to really see the magnitude of, of the breaking news. Um, He's a legend and he will always, always live on um, his legacy. It's really sad to see, you know, um, Gianna, who actually was one of the daughters that really picked up on basketball and was ready to carry his legacy on the court and, and really learning from the best, the Mamba himself. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just really sad that not only did he go, but, you know, the one to carry the torch. Yeah has also passed on as well. So it was a very sad Sunday mm. um, across um, the world the and, sports, and, and the world of sports. And mm -hmm. we're, 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 we're all here, you know, just taking it one, one moment at a time. Mm, very true, one, one moment at a time. And uh, of course, you can see the short clip there, um, Kobe Bryant and his daughter, and talking about that, the US basketball legend, Kobe Bryant, um, and uh, the father-daughter do were expected at the Mamba Sports Academy in Thousand Oaks for a basketball game. Indiana was going to play, and Bryant was going to coach. Indiana, the second of Bryant's four daughters with his wife, Vanessa Lane Bryant, was a passionate basketball player and Brian made sure he was involved in her development by coaching her team. And he sometimes shared photos of her at games on Instagram or videos of the two of them playing together. There was a time Kobe Bryant was asked if um, he, wanted, he wanted his legacy to continue um, by having his son play and of course live on with his name. Um, but um, uh, he said that he's very convinced and sure that his legacy was going to continue with Gianna and now mm -hmm. both of them and no more. It's really sad and uh, not such a good thing for the world of sports at, at the moment. It's, it's, everyone has thrown out tributes all over social media. But then let's talk about the other victims of the crash. Because when I got this yeah. story, um, I didn't even want to believe it. Even till now, I'm talking about it, but I still don't want to believe that Kobe Bryant is gone. Yes, they can say the man is gone, but his name, the legend, lives on forever. His jersey number has been retired by the Lakers team, the number eight jersey and the number 24 jersey. But then talking about the orders in the, in, 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 in the helicopter crash, Yana's friend was part of it and her coach was also part of that crash, a yeah. devastating moment. So nine people lost their lives, um, which is really unfortunate. Um, a husband, a wife, mm. coaches, um, daughters, players. So it, it, it's, it's a lot, you know, especially when you have a family, maybe you lose one person, mm -hmm. but you have families that have lost multiple people yeah. at once, in, including Kobe Bryant's family. Um, it, it's a tragedy. Nothing, 
nothing more, nothing less, just a complete tragedy um, that, you know, these players were on their way to the game and, mm. um, you know, they lost their lives, the coaches as well. So, and um, it's just a loss of words. Mm. Um, it, it's just one of those things that all we can do is just send our love and our condolences and keep mm -hmm. it positive. True. Remember their legacy, um, their coaching, their playing, you know, what, what they did when they were here on this earth. And, and we can just focus on that and put our energies in that and, and remembering them because mm. at this point, that's, that's all we really can do. Very true. That's all we can do. 